What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care, because if you have a look on the map, you'll see we have two very obvious markers that we need to go to. And this little quest that we're going to do now, it is very jerkish. I remember this from my first playthrough and it messed me about quite a bit. Want to know why? Well, I'll explain it. First of all, let's go to the bottom marker. Which takes you to Headstone Island. Yeah, remember this place? I know I do. Well, what will happen is you will come here and be like, Oh, hey, there might be a temple here. But you'll find there's this massive headstone in the way. And you can't do anything. Oh, there's a little tutorial that'll even tell us. With the power you have now, you can neither lift nor destroy that stone. Yet somewhere on the sea, the power to do so lies waiting for one to find it. You must seek it out. Yes. Now, if you were to ask Small Fry, which we did a little while ago, he will basically tell you that there's a heavy thing in the way. And if you go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you could lift this that stone and toss it out of your way as if it were light as a feather. So let's go to little let's go to Fire Mountain, shall we? So here we are coming onto Fire Mountain now, and you may notice something. As you may see, this is a mountain. It's on fire. Like a volcano, right? So it's erupting right now, and it's going way up in the sky. It's also drooling all the way around the island, meaning that you can't get access there. They will tell you to go one place north, and then four to the west, I think. And for that, well, that's where you get the item for that. But I can't be bothered to do that, that's quite far away. So how about this time we go to the top marker, yeah? Alright. Now if you come over here, you will see that it's really, really windy and you can't fight against it. You can only go around here, but even then it's not very effective. So once again, we can't go anywhere onto the top marker. Now if we were to listen to the little small fry, he would tell us that we need to go oh, very far to the south. And I think one to the east or west or something like that. So let's go there instead, yeah? So following small fry's directions will take you to ice. Ring Isle, which as you can see is frozen solid, so you can't get there either. So what they'll say is if you ask Small Fry over here, he will tell you to go 5 squares north and 3 squares west, which will take you to the same place that the last Small Fry from Fire Mountain said. So why don't we go there instead? So here we are at Mother and Child Isles, remember where we had that merchant that we went to again and again and again? Mm-hmm. Well they say that inside the Ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a, wind, a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the info I've got. So yeah! So, you come all this way after going through multiple, you know, directions, and oh look, there's Orion's belt. Anyway, so you see, you can get on this island, but you can't get on that one. So you need to use a whirlwind. So obviously there's always a whirlwind that's staying right next to this island. So what you need to do, you need to get into it. And remember how they've been hinting about hitting this guy with a distance weapon? Well, now is your chance. What you need to do is get out your arrows and hit him while you have the chance. Boom, boom. And then after doing that twice, maybe three times, That's a heck of an arm you've got there! And what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before but now. You obviously have a mastery of the air, and now we've established that you're quite the wind waker. Let's see if you can handle this! You learnt the Ballad of Gales, and did you notice how the thing was shaped like a zigzag, almost like it was spiralling? Aha! Uh -huh. Wahoo! In the hands of a Wind Waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be! 
And you, if you need to move like the wind over the oceans, the oceans deep, just call on my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head for the road. Uh, head for home now. See you on the road. Oh, hey! And if I was to get out my telescope quick enough, would I still be able to see you? Oh, it's too late anyway. So let's go use our new found song. Through the thunder and the lightning. And as you can see, we have all these little places we can teleport to. Even home. Uh huh. So we want to go to the one right here on Mother Child Islands. And we should hopefully land on the Mother Island. Tell me, little boy, can you control the wind? So young to have such power. How did you know to find me here? I am the queen of the fairy world. What is the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, the young one? I like you. And so, I shall give you new power. Or I shall give new power to the bow that you can wield. Blue one and a red one. The power of fire and ice have been added to your arrows. When you take out your bow, press ZR to change arrowheads and then fire away. Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames, and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Huh? Child? I must tell you, you are just my type. <laughs> I find it quite ironic that the fairy of fairies is like a child. Ah oh well, that's all we can see here. So let's just get on out of this place. So, where we're going to go to is Dragon Roost Island. But not yet. In fact, I say we do it in the next episode because this video is getting a bit long. Even if I do cut it down, we still did quite a bit. I had to show off that entire jerkish side of the quest. And now we've got ice and fire, and met the fairy of fairies, or the god of fairies, or this child fairy of Mother Island merchant whirlpool cyclones. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll leave it off here then. My name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.